It started really with small things. So we've looked at our buildings, we've looked at what we use, and we've looked at how we can just change things ever so slightly just to become more eco-friendly. So for example, uh, we've bought new um, recycling bins to go inside our churches big notices saying please recycle and this is what you need to recycle. Looking at our fair trade commitment, making sure we're buying fair trade, making sure that we're cutting down or, or eliminating our disposable tableware use. It's, it's small stuff really, it's nothing uh, big but it's making a big difference. The worship and prayer aspect, it's not just about the practical everyday things but about how we address um, creation, sustainability and caring for our world in our worship and our prayers. So we've made a commitment that we include um, eco issues um, in our newsletter every week. So there's always something about what you can pray for, what we can do in our newsletter. In our worship we mention, uh, you know, quite very regularly in our sermons we've been much more intentional about uh, linking it to eco issues in our prayers we're linking it to eco issues and the more we talk about it the more we find the congregation members are talking about it and including it in their prayers when they're doing intercessions and so forth so it's become one of those snowballing effects you start off and you, you just mention it and mention it and then and then it becomes part of our everyday language um, we're looking at what hymns we're singing and uh, what Bible readings we're doing and how they link into our care for creation